As we move to the other side of the gallery, the first thing I'd like to show you are some of my photographs that I call illusions because they're based upon original um, flowers that have then been transposed digitally to create patterns. So the first one um, is something that we saw at planting fields in the middle of the winter in their indoor garden. The second one is a camellia that we took in the springtime, um, also planting fields in their greenhouse. And the third one is actually a water lily. And when you take a close-up of the water lily, it almost becomes um, electric. So I would also like to talk about the painting that's over my right shoulder. And this is called Tapestry Embrace. So this symbolizes the combination of a collaboration between an artist that's also in the gallery right now, a photographer, Terry Ambergy, and myself. His photographs are in the, in the painting as um, acrylic skins. And then I took and used his theme and created the um, circles and the squares to complement his photograph. Um, this is also a mixed media presentation. And as you can see, we've divided it up so that there's space between the um, canvases. And so that gives you an illusion to be able to move from one canvas to the other, as opposed to having them all together um, right next to one another. As you can see at this point, um, it's the only photograph that's in the show. Uh, besides a mixed media artist, I'm also a photographer. And um, this is based upon a um, dahlia. And it was a close-up of the dahlia that was then digitally enhanced. And it's done on a media called acrylic canvas. And if you could see, it's translucent. You can see through it. And when there's bright sun, it projects an, another image on the um, wall. So it's very dramatic. The next painting under it, oh, and I call this um, Dahlia Lights. I'm sorry. Sensuous curves. Um, and that's because of the curves that you can see that are in the leaves, the petals. At the bottom, um, this is an example of a pour using very thick paint. And when it is thick, it creates this effect of having one color coming through another color. Um, it looks like waves or it looks like um, a waterfall. And again, if you move the canvas around in different directions, you will see different things. I would like to move over to the next two paintings, which are the only two paintings in this show that are both done in the same color combinations but you'll notice how very different effects I get from the first one versus the second. This first one I call Spirits. And this was done um, in preparation for a show that will be appearing here in July called The Art of the Battlefield. And um, I wanted to show really tears and the blood flowing down from the um, bloodshed that happens during the war. And so when I started this painting, you will see that the um, background, which is black, is actually blacks and grays. And it's, it's a very thin, um, fluid technique. And then over it, I start pouring the reds and the whites. And so you could see it falling or bleeding into one another. But when the painting was done, um, I wound up seeing these halos at the top. And they reminded me of heads or spirits. And that's why this painting is called Spirits. So the next painting, which is the partner to um, Spirits, is the other painting in the exhibit that's also um, black, white, and red. And this painting, you will see, has two different techniques in it. The first one is the, was the first pour that's really grays. It's, it's a very um, translucent black that, when mixed with water, comes out gray. And you'll see that this and this was a pour done together, the gray underneath. Then after that dried, then the next set of pores included the red, the black, and then the whites on both. Um, what's interesting is the difference between the very um, pale or um, almost uh, pastel -y type of effect that you get from this black versus the boldness of this. And because of the differences and the playing off of a real black black, 
versus um, the charcoal black. That's why I called this painting Yi Yang. The next painting is called Bold Moves. And the reason for it being called that is because similar to um, Feathers, which you saw earlier, this painting has a lot of bold colors in it. Um, but in addition to the bold colors, you have some very pastel -y colors that were done. So the different technique is the bold colors are done with more paint mixed with water. And here you're putting in more water into your paint. But please see that even in this painting with the very bold colors, you're seeing the, te the textures from underneath come through. And that's the beauty of using the golden um, fluid acrylics. Because you can see from the blue that's underneath the very nice striations that are coming through from the water mixing with the paint versus having these bold colors on top. This particular painting is probably my favorite. And that's because, if you can see, there's a woman that shows up in here, and this painting is called Ballerina. Um, there's the outline of the woman, her arms in the air, and this is her skirt down here. The colors represent um, the colors of Tuscany, which so that the blues represent the grapes, and then the yellows and the greens represent the, um, the farmland. So it, always brings back memories of a time when I had gone to Italy. Um, this particular painting has a very funny story attached to it because as I was doing it, um, I was painting and I had um, finished this particular pour in here with the, what's now the figure of the woman. And I was setting up the pour for an, the canvas for a next pour. And my husband comes home and he goes, oh, look at that. And I'm like, look at what? And I was standing in a different location than he was. And so I hadn't seen the image of the woman. And as he was coming down the stairs very boldly, he saw it right away. And so we stopped. I didn't do any more painting. Um, but because it, it's a one-of-a-kind painting, you can never really reproduce the same thing again. So that's why um, I, I have a very um, soft spot in my heart for this, because I think that it's a very unique experience and something that was uh, very special to have occurred. The last painting I would like to introduce you to is called Storm. The reason why you're seeing it on a poster instead of in person is it is actually sitting in the window of the gallery and it's really hard as any photographer or videographer would know to take a, a video through the window. So let me use this to um, show you a few different aspects of a pour because the um, original is also a 50 by 42 inch canvas and therefore very difficult to manipulate. But as you can see here, the canvas is shown in a vertical position and so you get one feel from it. But if you start rotating it, you will see totally different things in it and it will give you a different feel because now you see in more prominence the flow of these two items down the side. And again, if you rotate it one more time, you will see all different things again, because now the blue is much more prominent than it was at the bottom. And these are taking, taking second um, stage to the other part of the pour. Let's rotate it one more time. And now it's a very interesting concept, because again, these two pours are taking a stronger role but interestingly, my husband wound up seeing a leg right in this side. So here's the knee, and here's the leg coming down. And so you can see whatever you want in these pores, and it's up to your own imagination. So I thank you for coming today. I will put it back to the way we had it. And this is Eleanor Schoenfeld at BJ Spoke Gallery. Um, please stop by either our YouTube video, or if you are in Huntington at any time, Come by and see the show. It will be here until April 30th, 2009. Have a good day.